in this video, I'm gonna be talking about what I'd do first if I was starting to learn fingerstyle guitar again from scratch. What a lot of people are suggesting is to start with a fingerstyle pattern on the right hand and that's really good that's how I started and it's a really good way to start but you know I found it really hard to then get control over my fingers and separate my fingers from my thumb and in this video I'm suggesting a different approach and you know this is something that's just very personal to me that I feel like I should have worked on a bit more and a bit sooner. This is footage from a video that I did a while back to my community on my website, FabianHolland.com. I send out these videos every month to my email subscribers completely for free. So if you're interested in signing up, then I'll put a link in the description down below. So one thing I think about a lot is what would I focus on first if I was just starting to play fingerstyle guitar? People think that they need to be playing for a certain amount of time before they start fingerstyle guitar or people think that they need to have a certain amount of musical knowledge before they start fingerstyle guitar or people think that their chords need to get better before they start fingerstyle. Right now I'm teaching a lot of kids and it's all fingerstyle guitar because it's all classical guitar uh, and that's why I've got the classical guitar today is I just want to show you uh, this approach that maybe you haven't thought about before or maybe you don't realize that how important it is. So I just wanna kind of share this with everyone. What I see a lot is people taking a chord and then just putting a finger picking pattern on the right hand, something like. The C chord I'm doing alternate thumb picking pattern which sounds great even though it's actually it's actually quite hard if you're not used to picking individually with your fingers it's actually really quite hard uh, especially if you've never used your fingers on the right hand individually like this before um, plus on your left hand you know the chords if you're if you've just been used to strumming all the time, then, you know, it's not as important for, especially these, all the top end strings, the E and the B there, um, to be ringing out as much, you know. You can kind of get away with kind of strumming these strings and not strumming the whole thing obviously it sounds a lot nicer if you strum all the strings but but with finger picking you know you can't really get away with that so your chords need to be really perfect and let all the strings especially that E string ring out if you're just using this as an example the C chord Um, so that can be quite a challenge. Let's say you build enough confidence on your right hand and you really practice and you get that finger picking pattern really good. And then you can use that same finger pattern to, to every chord, right? Great, but the problem there is everything eventually starts kind of sounding the same. If you use the same finger picking pattern even if you're using a mixture of different finger picking patterns, it all kind of sounds similar. Um, and I was going through the same thing. Not only was my playing sounding very similar to everyone else, I didn't have complete control over my thumb and fingers in terms of separating them and having them as two different things. So really your, your thumb kind of takes control of the bass and your fingers take control of kind of the, the high notes. Roughly speaking, it's your, your thumb takes control of kind of the low three strings and these three fingers, your first finger, second finger, and third finger, take care of these three strings here. But that can obviously vary and change depending on what you're playing. So anyway, I got back into classical guitar and I realized they really put a lot of emphasis, like the first thing that they do is they focus on the right hand. And 
you put your thumb on the sixth string and that's your anchor. So that allows you to be connected to the guitar with your right hand. So it's not, if it's kind of free, I mean, I'm, I'm quite comfortable with free hand right now just because I've been playing for so long. But I think if you're not used to playing finger style, then it can be really uncomfortable if you, you're not touching the guitar in some way. A lot of people use their little finger as an anchor like this. Um, which I used to do for some time, but I found that my little finger was quite short, that I didn't have quite enough reach. My fingers were too close to the strings. And sometimes, you know, when I want to do, when you're doing something like this, you don't need your fingers to be far out or anything. Um, it's fine, but I don't want to do that all the time. Uh, so I found that using my thumb as an anchor really helped um, and I think it would really help people as well. Um, but really just focusing on the first finger and the second finger and just trying to play, just focus on one string. And alternating between the first finger and the second finger and this is one of the techniques in classical guitar is your, you, your finger kind of pushes to the next string. See that? And then the next one. And you don't have to always be doing this, but this is a good way to also get connected with the guitar. Just to get started playing. Cuz I find a lot of people when they when they haven't got when they're not touching the guitar, they haven't got an anchor, you know, they're kind of doing this and they don't know how far to bring their hand out and it's all there's no regulation with it and they you start eventually with that getting into bad habits so it's a really good way of just starting it's really simple just getting used to using your right hand because if you're not used to finger picking or finger style or anything like this then it's all uncomfortable and weird and it's gonna feel awkward anyway so the less awkward we can make it the more comfortable we can make it then the better so then once you're quite comfortable with that then I would try and just make up some kind of simple simple melody Then I would try and pick your fingers outwards instead of down to the next string like we've been doing. Try and pick them outwards. This is freehand. And then, if possible, try and add some bass notes. And we're going to try and add the, the A, the fifth string, and the E, the sixth string in there as well. So I'm not saying don't do the chords, finger picking over chords at all. So I'm not saying don't do the finger picking over chords. You do that as well, but by applying this and practicing this technique as well and trying to combine them together, this will really help you and help you get that control with your right fingers and the independence with your thumb as well. So this, these are the two that are really, really important when you want to get to the next level with your finger style playing. And it's not like you have to get to a certain point before you start doing this. I teach this to seven-year-olds, so 
anyone can do this. So I've got the steel string out now and I want to kind of show you how I would apply those two techniques, the finger picking over chords and the melody with the bass notes and kind of merge them together and show you how I would do that. Hopefully this has helped or inspired you in some way. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Also, if you want to sign up to my email community at fabenhon.com, then I'll put a link for that in the description down below. It's all completely free. I send out uh, vlogs and ideas and lessons and all kinds of things every single month, all completely free. So I'll put a link in the description down below for that. Other than that, have a great day and I'll see you very soon.